you want to try it? Jacob's Creek. Yes, yeah, sure. Let's see which one. What do you want? Uh, red wine or white wine? I like like very fruity white wines. Fruity white wine. Yeah. I'm uh, recommend you this fruity. Uh, I'm not a stereo. Uh, no, Sauvignon Blanc. Yes. Yes. Are you yes. Okay? Yeah. Okay. That one. What's up guys? Welcome back to Live Travel Asia where we show you what it's like living and traveling in Asia. I'm with Mayu. Impromptu street walk. We're a mall walk today of M Quartier. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it here on my Bonk. backpack. And we're just gonna walk around and do our little mall hopping thing. Sorry, but uh, I didn't really plan on doing this video, so I just have a mic on me. But if Mayu says something, I'll tell you what she says. <laughs> she says, I don't say anything. <laughs> this is sort of true, guys. Mayu chooses not to speak. <clears throat> She's the kind of person that's just sort of chill. Doesn't want to talk, just go around, look. What do you want to look at today? Uniqlo? Zara? So basically, this is a really fancy mall for those of you who don't know about M. Quartier. So, our walk is going to pretty much consist of us going to <laughs> anything that like a commoner could possibly afford. Actually, I don't. I can't afford Zara out here, but Mayu wants to check it out. You don't want to check it out? I thought you said you want to check it out. No sales? Yeah, that's true. Zara has sales all the time out here. I'm talking about 50, 60, 70 percent. That's when it's sort of worth it. But even with like at 70 percent, it's still more expensive than the states because it just starts out twice as much than the states and I think it's sort of maybe you know I don't really shop at Zara but maybe it's about the same because H&M is actually about the same as the states the only thing I really buy at H&M was the organic cotton t-shirts yeah that are about ten dollars uh, oh, it's about fifteen dollars here, but I think it went up in the states too. <gasps> Ooh, look, babe, babe, get a free waterproof bag with every purchase of eighteen hundred. Does it work? Oh my gosh, this is this is actually very essential. What I don't like is this is also black. Yeah, but that one doesn't seem like it's uh, the rubber plastic, because the rubber plastic one that I have. When I touch it, cause especially because it's black, it, it hurts me, you know? It's it's burning hot. It's black rubber, babe. Guys, if you're out here... It doesn't it, hurt you. It's just hot to touch it. It's like, it's like... No, it, it hurts. It hurts. Guys, for like, equate it to you have black leather seats and it's been baking in the sun and you try to sit on it. That's the kind of, it hurts kind of thing. Yeah. It's uncomfortable. It is, this black bag is attacking me. I thought it was a cool color. You guys are gonna get the waterproof bag. Get one that is very bright. Not only will it keep your valuables and gears that you usually put in there a lot cooler, but the other thing is, oh, and also don't get blue. Get something that will contrast with the color of the ocean because you're usually using this and if it's out in the middle of the ocean you and like let's say you lose it like you well you don't necessarily lose it but you lose the grip of it then you want to be able to spot it out there 
So black is not good, blue is not good, even green is not good. Like yellow or bright red, that'll stick out. Or even white, but white gets dirty. Mayu doesn't like white. Ooh, look, Monopoly t-shirts. <laughs> So, uh, Uniqlo. This is pretty much in every major mall now. Why do I like Uniqlo? Because on sale and clearance is super cheap. But it's really high performance kind of materials. Even like their cotton, it tends to dry faster. Yeah. I mean, right, you see it's 590 baht. Not 590. That's about, what is it, $16, $17? Sure. Yeah, but the reason we're looking at this, even though it's not on clearance, is because I know it's going to eventually end up going into clearance. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Mai, you know this. So, so we shop for it in advance, and then we drop by Uniqlo, and then look for it on sale. I 100% it's going to go on sale. These t-shirts always go on sale. Oh my gosh, babe, I like every single one of these. You know what, these, uh, the guys buy those t-shirts, like uh. 10 or 12 pairs, uh. and then once they got the free Gundam, Gunpla, now they put on the Amazon right now. Really? $60. $60 yeah. just for that? The gun, not on the t-shirt, the Gunpla, limited. Like limited oh, version. yeah, so if you get 10 of these, you get a limited edition Gunpla? No, no, just two pieces, you get one box. Two? You get one box? Yeah. That's so worth it. And they're selling it for sixty dollars on Amazon. In 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 Japan, Amazon, because Japanese people collect it. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, but why wouldn't Japanese people just spend thirty dollars and get two free T-shirts and go to Uniqlo and buy it? Yeah, they they get a T-shirt, but if you sell the thing, you get the money and you make the money. Yeah, but why why who's gonna buy this when they know they can just go to Uniqlo? Maybe still already sold out. I don't know. Oh, it's so limited that they sold out. Do they have that here in Thailand? Oink. Oink. I we did look at it and we didn't like it, right? I didn't like it. I didn't like the I like Yeah, she liked the Zaku. I, I really like this t-shirt. It's sort of like holographic. Alright. You guys are getting bored of this though. <laughs> I can understand why, unless you are into it. Ooh. These dress shirts, because I teach, I ended up buying one. It's one of the best shirt purchases I ever made. Because it doesn't wrinkle, and it's super duper lightweight. I feel very cool in it, because it has that air tech or whatever. I wanna see the girls section. You're going to go to the girl section? It's over there? Alright, I'll meet you there. <laughs> This is sort of how it works. Because me and Mayu, we just separate, shop, and then meet somewhere. Um, uh, actually, this is the first time I've been to this particular Uniqlo. And I don't know how it's set up. I don't see any clearance stuff, actually. One thing that I did want, that they have, is a waterproof windbreaker that's super light. That's something that everybody in Thailand should have. A waterproof windbreaker that is super light. Because it's, it's versatile. You can always keep one with you in your backpack. And then when you go to the mall and such and it's super cold, you're watching a movie, or you're getting in a bus, then you can throw it on, super light. When it rains, you can throw it on, super light, <laughs> waterproof. Uh, so that's the kind of stuff that's actually worth purchasing. But uh, they sold out of it really fast. Like this kind of stuff is useless. Even though it's cheap, it's like thirteen dollars for some <laughs> some 
sweater you'll never wear. Oh, this is pretty cool. Actually. Yeah, oh, 590 baht. I thought it was 390. But this kind of shirt, it's really good for clubbing or just overall going out, looking respectable to the ladies, while also being very cool, keeping you cool. Not like looks wise, but also looks wise as well as temperature wise. Oh wow, this is very light too. Ah, anyways, I have too much clothes. I don't need those anymore. I already have two of them. But Mayu is looking for a windbreaker that's waterproof. Okay guys, let's see if I can find Mayu. You know, when I'm walking through malls like this, I feel like I'm in California again. Like everything about this just feels like California. It's gentrified. And you have a bunch of Asians everywhere. <laughs> you, guys, you guys, some people ask me, do I ever miss uh, California? Mm. I, I just go to the nearest mall and I feel like I'm in California. I really don't miss it. Turn on Netflix, I feel like I'm in California. You, you really don't miss, miss the place. You miss the people. <gasps> Ooh, what is that, babe? Is that, that's not waterproof. You like it? You still need the waterproof one, though. The vest? Oh, the vest that you wanted. Five ninety, one thousand four hundred ninety-nine. Yeah, but it's, oh, it's extra small. Oh, this does, this feels super soft, babe. I just want to cuddle up in it and sleep. I don't know. I I think it looks pretty ugly, though. Ajuma. By the way, guys, you'll hear us say Ajuma Ajushi a lot. Ajuma is what Koreans call like older. Woman. woman yeah agashi is like younger woman it's almost derogatory to say ajuma because nobody wants to say that they're old i like the color but this is extra extra large oh what is this the vest i like the color but it's too big i don't know it has that ajuma feel to it I mean, this color any color because No, not really. Like black. You can't really go wrong with black. Oh, this one has a very Ajima feel too. Eh, nothing. You want to take off? Go somewhere else? H and M or wherever. Ooh, babe, look at this. You like this stuff. <laughs> UV blockable jackets. You, you guys might wonder why Mayu is always in a jacket in our videos. It's because it actually keeps her cooler and blocks the sun from damaging her skin. Oh, this color is actually less ajumma. Actually, this is pretty cool. It's, it's time to upgrade your jacket, babe, from yeah. the silver Teletubby. Silver thing, this one is star, right? Oh, yeah? It's been two years. Two years? <laughs> Has it been two years since I've given you a present? <laughs> hey, babe, look, this... Uh, this is very Japanese, huh? This color. Oh yeah? Oh, ooh, babe! It's water... Durable and water repellent. But I always wash it. The coating comes off? I think it's, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I don't 
That's yeah. pretty cool. It's water repellent. Mine wasn't, for sure. Yours wasn't, yeah. No, I, I have one too, and it's not. This is pretty cool because you, you can pack it up into this little small thing and always keep it with you. Trust me, guys. You, Thailand isn't always hot. <laughs> Just go into a mall or something and you'll be freezing. So you should always have some kind of jacket. Something probably people don't think about when they come to Thailand because the first time they come to Thailand or Bangkok they're always outside going to the temples and whatever and they think it's a very hot place but when you're living here you're always in some kind of cold air-conditioned place. This is so so pocketable. <sighs> Shirt. It's another pocketable jacket? This is You know what I don't like about this is that they keep them in this little bag. You can open it and then you just put it back in. I don't know why they keep it there though. I guess to some degree it keeps it cleaner. They don't have to recover people just like sorting through everything. Maybe. Ah, oh, thermals. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? This is just three nine. They're thermal leggings, babe. I love it. So. Shh, shh, shh. This exact one? No, 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 exact one. The thermal, I mean the heat tank with the long. The long I wonder if this is length. gonna keep you as warm, or maybe it'll keep you cooler. It's like the dry fit stuff. Wait. Look at the color. You don't like the color? Heat it matches your. No, heat tech. Oh, just it's, uh, how much is it? One ninety. Yeah, that's a good price right now. You're always complaining you're cold. Get yeah. one. I already have a lot, of them. but one ninety is a good price. <laughs> one ninety. Uh, but this two ninety. What's the difference? Why is it cheap? This is two ninety. I guess extra large. Nobody buys it. <laughs> yeah, there's. That's why. Uh, what? Are you an extra large? No. I thought you're a large or a medium. Normally I wear medium, but I pick the large because the large is a longer sleeve. Oh, because the sleeve length. Yeah, medium is short. The body is fine, but just, I need a long one. Uh, I guess this is this price. No, this is too long. Alright, All right, just get the large. I need a cool neck. You need a cooler? Scoop neck. Scoop, Scoop neck. neck. It's not the... Oh. Like, this one is the turtleneck. Long. Yeah, so you don't want people to see that you're wearing something underneath. <gasps> but it's more expensive. They know that people like it. Two ninety. dollars <laughs> this M Quartier walk has turned into uh, <laughs> Uniqlo shopping. Okay, we're gonna turn it off for now, and then we'll let you know. <laughs> and we'll we'll come back on after after we shop here, because I think this will take a while. I told you I want to do that. I know. <laughs> I thought we'll just like hit up places and look. <laughs> All right, guys. So we finished shopping, or at least I think we did, because Mayu walked out. We're gonna now go ahead and uh, check out other places. But Mayu is using the restroom. This particular mall, I will tell you, is quite complex. It's the most complex out of all the big malls here in my opinion because they have three separate areas and on the higher floors they're not connected. So <laughs> we found that we are finding new areas years after this place opens up. Okay, so over there is the Helix Quarter. And when you go into the Helix Quarter, there's like a big spiral that goes up into our restaurant. 
that you'll only be able to do from that floor. So you can't just, you know, sort of walk around and hope to find everything. You have to go to one area and then walk up the floors, come down, go to another area, walk up the floors, come down, go to another one, walk up the floors, come down. And today, our friend that we met here told us there's a whole back area of shopping. <laughs> we didn't even realize that yet. Where do you want to go, babe? This way? Okay. Well, this area sort of seems like uh, cosmetics. Yeah, you got Kiehl's, you got Aveda. Made in love of Nanda. Oh, wait, babe, I remember this place. Nanda is a... Uh, yeah, Nanda and C3, because Mayu made me get her like lipstick or something when I was in Korea from this place. Had to walk all over Hongdae to find out where it is. Oh my god. Yeah. Girls cosmetics. Oh, seriously. I would have rather picked up tampons or something than <laughs> finding like the perfect lipstick color. Oh, this is sort of the department store area. This is like where it's expensive. We just sort of come here just to look. It's like, I'm sure it's like you have it's, stuffing inside. Yeah, it's fluffy. <laughs> it might be good. Like, let's say you fall off a motorcycle or something. <laughs> You've got a bit of padding. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised you didn't go for this. I know you like cats. Well, well. No, this material. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like $1,250. This is $650. Forty dollars for this? Six fifty. This is $20. What is this like, Bape? Is this like the new Bape thing? I don't know. I don't know what Paul B. I don't know who Paul B. is. Paul Frank. Oh, look at, look at this. Pseudo Versace looking thing. <gasps> Oh, wow, this is pretty nice. 700 baht. I, I would feel like a man just getting a haircut from this kind of place. You got Jameson whiskey. 700 for a cut here? I think they serve whiskey here. Oh, they serve whiskey while you... Oh. That's pretty cool. If you want a cigar, I just... They got cigars. Oh, like this could be holding the business card. That's pretty cool. Oh, they even sell little razors. <laughs> I'll never buy it, but it's cool. Oh, look at that. It doesn't say don't sit. <laughs> this is probably a selfie opportunity. If you want to drive in crowds in Thailand, you have to have selfie opportunities everywhere. So, expect a lot of cool places to take selfies in malls. Because they're always trying to bring in the crowd. Oh, look, this is the office lady person. Yeah, oh my gosh, look at her, she's doing the splits. A little Easter egg, if you notice. I have this on top of my computer. <laughs> if you've seen our live streams and such. There's this Justice League Catwoman. She looks like the South Park character. Ooh, more office lady. I mean, this is much better. Why would you want to 
Just get a random one. Oh, <gasps> babe, this is from the Thailand Toy Expo. The limited edition one. 1,500 bucks. Yeah. Actually, this is coming up, the 2019 Thailand Toy Expo. I didn't edit the vlog out for it. I did the 2018 because, and I didn't actually release it because we did a bunch of geeky stuff already and I didn't want to do another one. Ooh. But I think I'll go to the 2019 and just release a long vlog that also has the 2018 in it. That's actually not a bad price. 390. Huh. It definitely looks like the kinds of shorts you can get at Union Mall though for about 150. <laughs> 190 max, but I'll probably buy three and get it for 150. Uh, I stopped buying those shorts. Uh, so these like Thai brand shorts and shirts and such, they look nice actually. I think they're nicely cut, but the materials, they're not very breathable, so it makes you sweat. So. And after about 10 washes or so, they start deteriorating and some of them rip. So that's why I stopped buying these cheap shorts and shirts. Don't have too many good experiences with them. I would rather just buy less clothes but high quality clothes that last and that perform well as far as keeping me cool or warm in a smaller amount of space. And preferably I wanted to do more things than one like keep me warm and keep me dry like it's waterproof and warm or it's uh, lightweight and cool something like that or I could wear it to a club and I can just wear it around you know something like this always trying to think of you know buying clothes if I do that serve multiple purposes because I like to travel light as far as clothing is concerned because I carry so much camo gear oh man I don't <laughs> maybe I should get carry on for the Korea trip yeah I don't know seems like every year when I travel my my backpack gets heavier because I acquire more gear and I try to shoot more stuff uh, yeah, this is our home. You know, babe, you come here every time, but we never buy anything. Because I'm looking for only something. You're looking for only what? On sale. On something on sale. Uh, ooh, look. T talking of sale. <gasps> Final sale, seventy percent. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever buy H&M again. Last time I bought a t-shirt and after two washes, it deteriorated. It's completely useless. I think the only good thing here is the, the organic cotton t-shirt. Seriously. Babe, the sun is setting. Oh, it's already set. <laughs> Isn't Tory Birch known for their shoes? Their little flats? She's barefoot. <laughs> yeah. 
Anything else you want to check out, babe? Uh, I want to go back. Rag and bone. Huh. Yeah. You want to go to gourmet market? Yep. Yeah. See, this this is a whole shopping area that George was talking about that I've never seen before. We know. See, you guys, I'm always finding new things. Uh, I think I've been here before, but... Uh, it's probably nothing I would buy anyways. It seems very expensive. <laughs> oh, look! This is the Thai... Thailand, babe! What ex... Oh... They have every size. They have kid size. Yay! Thailand! Ooh, what is this Pepsi? Yeah. Fila X 1911. Oh, it's just the. Uh, oh, it's like the dry fit. <gasps> they have a new design? Yeah, I don't know, new or different. Wait, it is new, babe. They didn't have black before. Ooh, this is styling. I like. Oh, this is a cheer uniform. What? This looks better than my cheer uniform. You like it that better? Yeah, it's like monochrome. It's 490. Oh, 490. No, but I, uh, I can't be buying anymore. Just buy one and that's it. One and done. Although it's super affordable, then it's just like hoarding mentality. You just buy it. Oh, they do have a babe. Oh, let's see how expensive all this is. You know what? I don't like it though because whenever I see that shark hoodie, I think of Justin Bieber. I guess how much does it cost? Oh, that is nice though. Oh, my time, my time. Mm. But if you get right, I will purchase it for you. Oh, really? One thousand. This is new era, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually new era is about 30, 40 bucks. No, this is not. So I will say. This is not. But this is babe. Yeah. I would say three thousand. What? Five thousand nine hundred baht? Oh my god. But I think that works. I think that works. Like, because the price is high, I'm subconsciously thinking that it's worth it. Like, oh, look, it's babe. It's so cool. But then when you actually feel it and touch it, it actually isn't that good. The, gen the generic new eras have, like, better materials and such sometimes. Babe star. Oh, this you wanna, you wanna, you wanna make someone that's drunk like just wipe out. This is cool. This says, "Don't touch me." Touch me. Touch me. Oh, you said touch me. I wanna touch the. the <laughs> boing, boing. Picking its nose. I like it. It is pretty cool. Uh, ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand baht. Half of the place, four thousand. Really? Yeah, it's four thousand. Okay. That's still pretty expensive. Pretty expensive, but okay. Yeah. I don't know. Something about babe. I don't like it. I feel like it's hyped. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's hyped. If, if they didn't have this, I, w I would be more interested. But I'm looking at this. I see Justin Bieber right there. Yeah. 
Bieber is more like badass. He's more badass? You think Justin Bieber is badass? Look, look. Oh, you, you think he's got a badass look? Okay. I guess I'm, I'm gonna think positively because if you think Justin Bieber is badass, and then that must mean that I'm pretty badass too, huh, babe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very confident guy, but I think I'm more confident than definitely more confident than Justin Bieber, that's for sure. Yep. When it comes to being badass, you're with a badass right here. I don't say no. You don't say no to it? Yeah. Ooh, by the way guys, this this looks really cool. Photo op right there. Gourmet market with the umbrellas. Bakery on the left. Ooh, Japanese sweet potatoes. This is a big thing here. Japanese sweet potatoes. If you guys uh, want to impress a Thai friend, Thai girls especially, get her a Japanese sweet potato. <laughs> there, I don't think there's any any Thai girl that would not like a Japanese sweet potato. Ooh. Oh, actually, I want the big one. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, this has mangoes in it. A little pig cream bun. Wait, is this Yamamoto, the one that I have a membership at? That is Yamazaki, not Yamamoto. No one's name is Yamamoto. Oh, that's good. The initial taste was meh, but then as I keep chewing it, I get the addicting flavor of MSG <laughs> spread in my mouth. <laughs> Little Mermaid. I don't know this brand. Interesting. Well, Mayu does uh, bakery shopping because I know it's gonna take a while. She always, yeah, her, she, she, she does some serious bakery shopping. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around and show you guys what else is around here in the food court area. We will probably end up at the gourmet market here. So we'll show you that as well, but just go over. Ooh, this looks good. Tokyo Milk Cheese Factory. <laughs> Looks so soft. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ben and Jerry's, they just got out here maybe a year ago. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Oh, so our buddy got a birthday cake for his friend's mother and he was telling us this is a really good place for vegans I know there are some vegans out there the cakes here apparently are really good but not being a vegan to me <laughs> this sort of looks better oh. <laughs> But they have great looking cakes everywhere. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at this. They got Pikachu. Oh, I should probably get back to Mayu. I don't have any. Dean and De Luca. Is that a big chain, guys? I don't know. I'm not a big coffee guy. Comment below if you know if Dean and De Luca is a big chain. Okay. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. Mayu is still bakery shopping. <laughs> Type of 
That's what she said. It's tight, right? It's really soft. Hard is better than soft. <laughs> yeah. I like harder. Yeah, I like harder. Harder the better. Harder the better. <laughs> Ooh, melon pan. Babe, you're buying a lot. I guess this is all. Awesome. This is like the price of the meal we're about to have. <laughs> You want to go to gourmet market? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. I mean, are we gonna get something that's gotta stay cool? Because I don't know. Oh look, someone's calling me. Hello. Yes. Hello. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't speak Thai. A parcel. Uh, did you put it at the office, front office? Oh, uh, I am not home. Hey, Mayu, could you translate? He's trying to deliver something. Shoot, the front office is closed. So this uh, this happens when they try to deliver a parcel because I shop online on Lazada. They usually call in advance and let me know they're about to deliver. So if I'm there, they could deliver it directly to me. Otherwise, they deliver the parcel to the front office. But I don't know. This person apparently hasn't delivered. I don't know. In all honesty, I, I could probably just keep insisting on speaking in English and they would have got me an English translator. But since I have Mayu, it's like, here you go. This is, uh, this is probably one of the reasons why I'm not learning uh, Thai. Because Mayu just conveniently does all this kind of stuff for me. Yeah. Oh wow, they got apples from the States. This looks like about $3 a piece. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so expensive. I think, although, oh, what happened? Um, no, he just will deliver it tomorrow. I asked him to deliver it tomorrow. Oh, he'll just deliver it tomorrow? Yeah. I wonder why he didn't just drop it off at the front office uh, like I they do. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Never expect the same thing twice in Thailand. <laughs> Look, Japan apple, 300, right? <laughs> uh, uh, wait, which one's more expensive? Oh, it's the same as the States. So, in the Thai mind, Korean and... No, they're, they're pears, babe, that's why. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's a pear, this one. Apple. A snow pear, okay. Well, it's better than Chinese pear. See, see this uh, racism? The state is 100. What, pears? No, no. American pears? Apple. It tastes really good. Look <laughs> at Japanese pear. What, uh, American apples? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think this is. They're usually full of chemicals. Is this one? I don't like the formation in which one. It's a very typical taste. You mean cheaper than tops? Yeah, a 91. What the hell? It's per kilo. That's more than one kilo. Why? 
In Amer in, in Tops, do they just say this is one pack? Is one pack. Oh, okay. But they have like four to five. So it's the same price. Yeah. yeah. Do we have avocados? No. Hey, we still have the beans left over. Can we have burritos? Yeah, let's have burritos. Mayu makes burritos for me. Korean burritos. Korean style burritos. It's like, obviously the ingredients aren't as good as back in the States, but we compensate for it by adding a bit of uh, Korean kimchi to it, which makes it taste all right, it's, it's, it'll, it'll hold me up until I go back to the States. Oh, so this is really cool. Here at Gourmet Market, you can get a steak and then have them cook it for you. And it's delicious. They call it like, they, they, they termed it some clever thing. Hunt and, you hunt, we cook. <laughs> yep, and they, they also have sushi. So what I like about Gourmet Market is that it's not just a grocery shopping experience, it's almost a dining experience. You can come out here and pick your foods and eat before you go back home. I like that, I like that kind of concept because it helps people be more social. They're not just picking something up, going straight back home, watching TV, isolated. You know, you have the option to just eat out here in the public you know, even if you're not talking with people, you're sitting next to people. Oh, by the way, guys, they have like new uh, craft beers. You're not facing. Huh? You're not facing. I'm not facing it. No, you'll see it. It's wide angle. I had that, and uh, I don't know who. Which company is it? It wasn't good in my stomach. It tasted good, but it didn't. What? Yeah. You still have this? I would never buy. I think it's Chang. This is my guess. Cosmos Brewery. Who is Cosmos Brewery? No, I have this one, but I didn't drink it yet. Yeah, this is by Chong. I mean, Sing 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 Ha, right? Because it says Sing Ha, but they say Sing. I'm, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Usually, when I say it the way it's spelt, there's gonna be some guy who's been living out here for like 10 years that will correct me and say no that's not the right way to say it the Thai say it's sing and then I'll go talk to my Thai students and local Thais and I'll say is it sing ha or sing and the educated ones will tell me actually teacher it is sing ha but we're lazy and we don't say ha so it's just sing Sort of like when I ask them, you know, you guys spell central, central, but you say sentan. What is the real way to say it? They'll say. So, I just sort of. Oh, this one. I haven't tried this one. How come you. You tried it. What? You had it when you are doing a live stream. Do you remember? Oh, you just put it in my mouth and I never no, realized. No, 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 no. You, you ate it by yourself like this. <laughs> you just know, you, you are eating without knowing. Yeah, I was eating without knowing. <laughs> what, yogurt, potato <laughs> chips? One by one. You know, the latest craze right now is um, the pingsu, the Lay's pingsu flavor. Yeah, this is the talk of the town. This is, this, the elections are going on, but when I talk to my students, what's the most interesting thing that happened? Oh, teacher, they have a new Lay's beans and flavor at seven. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have this. This is like the common thing. And whenever I like meet a student for the first time, or like, I mean, just basically the first thing I ask them is, "How was your week?" And they're like, "What's well, new?" <laughs> you know, the Thai elections are going on, but half of my students are like talking about this new ping soup flavor Lay's chip. Yeah, <laughs> and and most of them have told me that it, it's disgusting. <laughs> like, it looks so interesting that I bought it and I re instant regret. <laughs> oh man. What do I buy all the time? Oh, look at this, look at this. Huh? Sample? Yes. Symbiotic yogurt tablets. Okay, yogurt. 
Oh, yogurt's good. It's uh, probiotics. What freebie? Wine freebie. Oh. <laughs> Uh, there's a pretty girl. I'm more interested in pretty girl. Ribi, can we drink? No. <laughs> Jacob's Creek. Yes, yeah, sure. Let's see which one. I like like very fruity white wines. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a stereo. Uh, no, Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc. Yes. Yes. Blanc. yes. Okay? Yeah. Okay. That one. Oh, Interesting. You already tried it? Yeah. Was it open or you open it? It's already opened. <laughs> I don't know. She's supposed to give it to you like this or just, I, I, I wasn't sure, but I, I trust her. Ooh, Sauvignon Blanc. Thank you. Hmm. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm not a big fan of rosé. Where, where, what country is it from, by the way? Ah, uh, it's the Hoxby from Australia. And oh, it's... Ben Sauvignon is from uh, New Zealand. Ah, uh, the, the Sauvignon that I tried is from New Zealand. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Hmm. It's, um... Guys, if you're from California, it's pretty much, uh box wine grade <laughs> uh, it seemed like everything there was at least a thousand baht uh, I mean what do I expect but it's free I'll try it I'll give it a go see if they can sell me over but <laughs> I'm, I'm remembering Agretsuko from yesterday yeah, we're watching this anime on uh, Netflix called Agretsuko. I'm not. Mayu is. Um, it's, uh, it's about this office worker lady, cartoon, and uh, she's such a nice person. She's the kind of person where she goes in and she goes and shops and she doesn't like anything, but she feels bad about leaving. Yeah, so then she'll buy three pairs of socks, you know, just so that, you know, she's... <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. If I don't like it, I don't buy. I will shop. I will taste everything. If I don't like, it, I don't buy it. I don't feel bad at all. Even if there's a really pretty girl, you know, it's like okay, not good. <laughs> That's what Mayu you like. That's what I like. Yeah. I don't care if you're pretty. If I don't like it, boom. <laughs> Eh. Ew. Look at all these tomatoes. You know who was it? King. Remember King? Our Patreon? He <laughs> we're talking to him and he's like, I was just eating uh tomatoes because they're so cheap out here. <laughs> it's like you poor poor guy is like Oliver Twist. Some more please. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a dollar. It's about a dollar for one of these. I guess I take it for granted. I mean California the produce is pretty cheap too. I don't know it doesn't taste good tomato here. I don't know. I don't know. Well my my you is spoiled but tomatoes in Japan are probably I mean it's not expensive but it tastes better. You know? You sure? It's it's a dollar? It's like a dollar twenty? I'm pretty sure in Japan it's gonna be like three dollars. Huh? It's good. It's worth it. Because it Two dollars? It's good. I, I don't, it doesn't work for me. $21. It's worth it. It's worth it. That's that's something that only a privileged person can say, babe. You know, this tomato costs double. You know? This is... S someone like me is just grinding away on low wages. We have to be able to appreciate one dollar tomatoes. <laughs> it's not worth it to pay twice as much when it's not twice 
as much of a better experience. Well, I was looking for, I was looking for Japanese and Japanese mushrooms? Oh, do we have salad, babe? Oh, babe, uh, by the way, guys, this, this is a salad we always get. It's probably not the best, but it's hydroponic, and it's relatively cheap. Like, one of these will last, you know, about two, two meals. This, this is a little less than two dollars. But they have the, the value pack, yeah. We usually get the value pack. This is three dollars for this big one. You don't buy it anymore? I buy those um, baby leaf. Yeah, you're mix. supposed to mix it. And then I buy real green that I can keep it long and then wash it oh. by myself. Oh, my use my clever. I would have never done that. To me, it's just convenient to get two of these and they got the, this, yeah, this one has the Ziploc. That's why I like it. And then I'll eat it. I'll get two of these and I'll take half of it out, half of it out, mix it and then eat it. And then I'll put this other half in the Ziploc and throw it in the fridge, you know? I'm, it's like, I'm a guy, I'm thinking of how to minimize not um, doing dishes. Actually, what I would do is this one, since I'm gonna throw it away, I would cut it open <laughs> and then and then I would take half like take half of this put it in here and take another half put it in there and then actually eat out of this packet after I cut it open so I don't have to do dishes and I just throw it away <laughs> since most of my viewers are male you can all relate to this but if, if another girl hears it <laughs> they're like what the heck <laughs> oh man Hey, it all, it's all the same when it goes down, whether it's served on a golden platter or a plastic bag. Wait, I can't find Mayu. Man, where is she? Mayu! This happens quite a bit. I always get sidetracked and then I'm shooting something or looking at something and then Mayu disappears. And then I have to uh, call her. What? Oh, by the way, guys, this salad bar. Something you should know is that they have really good smoked sausages and porks. Sometimes they even have smoked salmon. Ooh, babe. Where are you? Oh, okay, I'll see you at the cashier. Yeah, and they got these little nuts. And obviously they have all the different kinds of leaves and they charge you per weight. So what I do, and they even have little cheese and lots of different uh, dressings. So what I do is I usually get this really small one because I'm super cheap. I don't even want the extra weight of the bigger one. The smaller one will work. And then I will uh, get a bunch of, I like this particular sauce, the Italian herb dressing. Yeah, that's the one. So sorry guys, I realized that my GoPro overheated and it cut off. I, I lost about 15 minutes of footage, but Basically what I was explaining there at the salad bar is that after you get all the salad and great smoked salmon from Norway, etc. Uh, the, the total weight cost for what you would put on a sandwich, and I always get usually more than I'm supposed to get because I overestimate, is usually about 70 baht, about $2. And then you, you could come out to these bakeries here and they always have a bakery outside of Gourmet Market and you can pick up your self a baguette or something like that. I mean, let's see. Uh, here, a shiho pan. Actually, this is a bit more expensive than at Paragon because I go to Yamazaki. Oh, over there it's only about 20 baht, but here you'd pay about a dollar, dollar fifty for bread. I'm sure you can find cheaper bread. And then make yourself a very like high-end <laughs> Subway sandwich type of stuff. 
Uh, and it would cost you about $2.50. Over here, it ends up costing you about $3, $4. It's still really affordable. I mean, smoked salmon sandwich, guys. It's really good. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here because uh, I want to go ahead and eat. Uh, I was going to cover the outside bar area, but if you see my New Year's Eve vlog, my best steak in Thailand, cocote vlog, uh, you'll see it. But basically at this point, it's just a lot more chill, uh, more calm atmosphere. Come out here and meet people and socialize. That's one of the other main reasons people come to M Quartier for the nice little cafes. Actually, that's why we came out because one of our friends wanted to meet us out here, and uh, it's just a good place. That's sort of centrally located in Phnom Penh for us to meet. You know, chat over some coffee. Although both of us don't drink coffee. It's funny. It's funny that he recommends coffee because that's what other people like and both of us didn't drink coffee so we ended up going to the roast upstairs which is like a big chain here I like their smoothies so we ended up you know having that sort of overpriced four dollars five dollars but it's delicious and we're using the ambiance for three four hours so definitely worth the money all right babe wait this is our shopping how much did this cost us, like all the avocado and stuff? Uh, I think it's 98. Hang on, I'm going to call that. Um, 98. Oh, okay. The bread is not correct. Ah. Alright, the low light sucks in this camera, so I'm not going to shoot it too much, but... Let's see. Uh, whatever the case, hope you guys have an amazing week. And uh, we'll see you again next week. And definitely this week again. This is just going to be one of our walking videos. But, uh... If you can, please. If you can, please subscribe, give us a comment, and I don't know, give, give us a comment, mm -hmm. put like, and then press the subscribe button. Kot means press in Thai, right? Kot. 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 All right, guys, we are at our favorite little restaurant here in Phnom Penh. They still have specials. That's good. I like specials because my cheap mentality uh, sort of forces me to try new things. <laughs> uh, but I'm still gonna get what I usually get. Udon with mini pork fillet cutlet bowl. That's udon tonkatsu, right? I'm guessing. What? Udon tonkatsu. Uh, it's not tonkatsu. It's like pork fillet uh. with the spice, not spicy. Oh yeah. Not, like, it's like sour, a lot of, a lot of sour, salty sauce on the Mai, what does this say? I told you this is post -cure. Oh, skewer with a drink with sing. But I like this one. This one has a highball. If you guys know what a uh, highball both, is, both of them. oh, both of them. Choose. Oh, so if you come after 4 p.m., it's like you can you can be drinking here. But I don't feel like this is an environment for you to be like drinking and partying. Party, just yeah. For a drink. Yeah, but it's it's a good price. A highball and some food for 140 baht. That's legit. Which one you want? I want, I want oh, I like this place because they just give you water for free. Alright guys, check it out. They give us unlimited flakes and onions. And that's what we get. Actually, this isn't a very cheap set, we're realizing, because we're looking at this. And even, yeah, original prices for these combos, they're still 180, 200. Some of them are even better, I think. Like this one. The pork cutlet in curry with rice with miso soup. That's usually my go to. <laughs> but if you want udon, you gotta get the special set. Yeah, you gotta do it like that. For I actually like to put a lot more onions. And Mayu uh, got, what's that, chicken? Chicken. Mine's a pork cutlet. Wait, wait. 
Just want to point out that you got free unlimited rice, cabbage, and soup. Is that right, babe? Because it only says free for us. Huh? Yeah, only in English it only says free. But it means unlimited. You can just get refills. It's unlimited. It's unlimited. Oh. You say you speak Japanese because you know it's unlimited refills. On this little cabbage salad thing, rice and soup. So you will definitely be full for six dollars. Guarantee. <laughs> Although it'll be a bunch of carbs. Or you can fill yourself up with uh Cabbage. Cabbage like you're a rabbit or something, you know? That's cute. <laughs> if you're on the rabbit diet. <laughs> I guess you can go out with like a uh, omnivore like me if you're a vegan. Give me the pork cutlet. <laughs> and then you can just keep eating the cabbage. There you go. Thanks again guys for checking out this video. If this is your first time, be sure to check out our channel for more vlogs released Saturdays and our longer discussion and walking videos released Wednesdays. I've color-coded our main vlogs with the black sidebars as opposed to our longer form discussion or walking videos with pink or no sidebars for your convenience. Be sure to also check out our Facebook and Instagram pages to keep up to date and communicate with us. And remember, we also have our second channel, Traveling Asia, that's dedicated to our international travel as well.